All right then guys, in this video I shall be giving you five reasons why I love the Osmo Pocket. Reason number one is because it is so small, I mean it just literally fits the palm of your hand. Now you're walking about and people hardly ever notice that you've got this in your hand and if you're not bothered about sound or you're just holding it like that because the microphones it's got two, one there and also the other one underneath but if you're not wanting any sound you can hold it like that hold it against your chest and nobody can see it especially if you've got dark clothing on so yeah it's just so small it's unbelievable and for what it gets inside this little thing it's it's so small it's just unreal you get a lot of stuff in this little package reason number two is the price for what you pay for and what you do get I mean you get a lot of features for something so small plus it's a three axis gimbal as well which is absolutely awesome you get hyperlapse you get time lapse motion lapse which is my favorite I love motion lapse it, that is one of the coolest features in my in my opinion and also you can get if your computer or your device can handle it 4k 60 frames per second you can do slow motion within the app uh, well within the yeah uh, within the BMO app uh, but that's only at 1080p so if you want to do slow motion use uh, either 10, uh, if you want it in 4k do 4k 60 frames per second and it lets you slow it down even more which will then match the whole part of your film uh, because if you're filming in 4k you want the whole thing in 4k and not 1080p which is like your slow motion this is the only one of the drawbacks that i've got with this this product is that the, with your slow bows and your high collapses and stuff like that it's only done in 1080p which is a bit pants in my opinion so if you want to do uh, slow motion uh, or high collapses and stuff like that a bit of 4k 6 frames per second jobs are good third reason is the Wi-Fi mounts now that for me for this product that is one of the most important things that you can have in as your accessories the Wi-Fi mount basically all it does is just sticks it on there and you can put it on a tripod um, or you could just uh, place it down on a flat surface it has got a, a three quarter inch screw in the bottom so you can screw it onto the tripod like i've said uh, and the range is quite good i think i think it's about 100 uh, foot i'm not sure 50 foot away from your device i've not tried it out yet fully so we'll have to wait and see on that one also with regards to accessories if you didn't know which i'm sure most of you don't do because there's loads and loads and loads of reviews about this osmo pocket is that you can use your GoPro accessories with the Osmo Pocket as well. So if you've got a GoPro and lots of accessories, you can use nearly all of them with this um, Osmo Pocket 2. Now, the last one, the fifth reason is, I've already mentioned it, is 4K 60 frames per second for a little camera like this. It is just crisp, clear quality. Uh, I don't use 4K 60 frames per second a lot because my uh, laptop, when I'm editing, it can't handle it. So I need to use or learn to use how to do proxy. Which I, because somebody told me to use proxy settings or pro something proxy, I don't know. But uh, apparently that help, helps a lot when you feel, uh, try to edit in 4K 60 frames per second. And like I said before, uh, doing 4k 60 frames per second it helps you uh, slow it down even more so all your shots are in 4k not 1080p like i said before but yeah i do absolutely love this osmo pocket the only problem is you've got to just learn the ninja walk if you haven't got, got another four axis gimbal with it uh, the ninja walk apparently you look a bit daft <laughs> but if it gives you a nice smooth footage why not um because when you're actually walking along it does a little bouncing motion effect but no I can do about that I walk with a limp so doing a ninja walk is a no-no for me so I don't think I'll be doing that one anyway those are the five reasons why I love the Osmo Pocket uh, I just, I, it's good for what I do I do think it's a vlogging camera um, you can sort of do cinematic shots I'm not the best filmmaker in the whole wide world um, 
and I, from what I th from what I felt the other day, you can't get better at practice or with practice. I went down to the marina the other day and it wasn't the best what I wanted it to be. But like I say, loads of practice and you should be, you should be able to get some decent cinematic shots out, out of the Osmo Pocket. Because I have seen some really good films on Facebook and on YouTube as well filmed with the Osmo Pocket. So anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please don't forget to smash that like button and also give me a share if you don't mind doing that. A share with your family and friends and all your subscribers as well. And if you're new to this channel and you liked what you saw, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. And ring that bell for future videos. I do do throw videos mainly, but the weather's been a bit rubbish. So hopefully when the weather picks up, I'll be doing some more filming with my Mavic Pro. All right then guys, thank you very much for taking the time out to watch this video and I shall see you later. Bye.